LG closed out 2013 with a smartphone like none we'd seen before, and it's kicking off 2015 with its direct sequel. So how do they compare? I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, and let's find out in a quick comparison brought to you by Aoki. The feedback LG got on the first G Flex was that people liked the curve and the powerful feature set, but what they weren't too stoked about were the low screen resolution, unremarkable camera, and the sheer size of the thing. So LG fixed all that. Specifically, the screen has graduated from 720p at 6 inches to 1080p at 5.5 inches. That gives it a pixel density of 403 pixels every inch versus 245 on the older model, while preserving that curve that makes it special. Both panels use LG's P OLED technology, but the newer phone doesn't seem to suffer from any of the ghosting or image persistence problems of the old one. LG obviously heard those complaints loud and clear. The cover glass on the newer phone is also stronger, while the self-healing coating on the back ostensibly repairs damage much faster. You'll have to wait for our full review to see that claim confirmed or refuted. We don't have to wait to tell you how much better the G Flex 2 feels in the hand, though. The 15% reduction in mass and the much smaller footprint make it more phone than phablet, and that makes it far more manageable in the palm and in the pocket. It also looks and feels more classy, more premium, if you will, thanks to the fancy trim up front and the modernized, less mushy keys around back, though we are sad to see the rear-mounted notification LED take a hike. While we're back here, notice how the new device's cover bears a subtle spin pattern instead of the older hairline stripes. And surprise, it pops off. Don't get too excited though, the battery is still embedded. And even worse, it's smaller, 15% smaller to be exact. And we expect that higher res display to tax the diminished reservoir more heavily too. On the brighter side, the new phone comes with a quick charger right in the box to zap you from dead to a half charge in about 40 minutes. Some were disappointed LG couldn't find a way to include optical stabilization in last year's Flex, citing space concerns. Well, the company found a way with the G Flex 2, bumping the IR port up to the top edge and using the added space for a 13 megapixel shooter with OIS, with laser focus, and a dual LED flash. If it sounds familiar, it's basically the same rig as the LG G3, and if the photo results are at all similar to what we saw from that phone, we're bound to be thankful for the upgrade here. Software is essentially a quantum leap. The older UI atop Android 4.4 looks ancient compared to the new skin with Android Lollipop. About the only downsides are that multitasking is the same, thin app selection and all, and you can no longer move the home key row to one side of the phone. You can still assign custom shortcuts down there though, and the aesthetic upgrades definitely trump the minor inconveniences here. Plus, there's a lot more power driving the software on the new phone, a 64-bit Snapdragon 810 instead of the older Snapdragon 800, 2 or 3 gigs of faster RAM, and expandable memory via microSD, up to 2 terabytes of it. There's a lot we don't know about the G Flex 2, including how well it'll hold up in our full review, hopefully coming later this month. But based on the short time we've had with the device here at CES, it looks like a great sequel, poised to introduce the curved concept to a whole new segment of the market. The one that wants a flex, but doesn't want a phablet. This quick comparison was brought to you by the Aoki Muse Portable Bluetooth Speaker. It pairs easily with iOS, Android, and Windows devices, as well as iPod, MP3, and Bluetooth transmitters, and hidden inside the body are two powerful 5-watt drivers delivering crystal clear, distortion-free audio bliss. Capable of providing 10 hours of continuous airtime with a single charge, the Muse pumps out the beats, allowing you to party longer. Control your music wirelessly from up to 33 feet away in open air or using an aux cable. So party hardy with Aoki. For more on the G Flex 2, see our hands-on video and our G Flex 2 vs LG G3 videos, shot right alongside this one here in sunny Las Vegas. Follow us on Twitter, at PocketNow, at Captain2Phones, and at Jaime underscore Rivera. Visit us at PocketNow.com, and stay tuned for much more from CES 2015 as our coverage continues.